thing is that uh, MPA, that if I want to set up a bottling company, you give me money to manufacture the bottle. That's very untrue. Every, we have four bottling plants already constructed in the country. One in Kumasi, three in Tema. No These are private. Has, no money has been given to them to construct. But you're going to pay them but for the cylinders that will yeah, manufacture so like under from, this policy. I would like to start from where Gabi ended. Um, like I said, the price would have had margins to cover all the investment that are made. Mm. Before July 2015, when we deregulated the industry and now allowed them to determine their own margin. So like you asked previously, yes, you would, even if you set your own margin, still part of the price. You passed on to the consumer. Before we deregulated in July 2015, we were setting the margins for them, approving it. Well, was, that, was that we giving money or pampering the industry? Because there was, we, we are approving we the are margins. We collecting then. the money for no. them, right? So yeah. basically, no, but we put the price in there and then it goes, like I said, we don't collect the money for the bottling plants company. The cylinder, the cylinders yeah, are yeah, the yeah. We're talking the about that, yes. that, that we've isolated. So I think for he, the cylinder yes, so manufacturing companies, you collect for them. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. So they don't, I mentioned earlier, they don't own the cylinders. You see, Gabi made an example of other countries, and other countries have different models when it comes to pricing of petroleum products and how the systems work. So we have to put countries into context. When you go to other countries, for example, they don't have what we have called the EPPF. So if you go to Kenya, for example, what is EPPF? The Unified Petroleum Price Fund, and that's what ensures that in Ghana, the price of petrol in Tema is the same as the price of petrol in WA. Most countries don't have this mechanism, but we have that in Ghana. So the fact that other countries don't have, it doesn't mean that it's bad. So every country operates in a certain context. We looked at our situation. See, we, we went to other countries to learn from them. And then you use your experience from them to determine, or determine how you go about yours. We realized that if you should leave this in the hands of the private uh, company, for example, I mentioned earlier, the numbers they were coming up with were too high. So it's going to make the product more expensive. No, I think but, it's, but it's a competitive market. The law of demand yes. and supply so, will weed out those exactly. who are charging exorbitant. So, that, that, so, that, is, that is basically but, the but basic that's definition where, of that's a functioning where, that's where capitalist can, economy. I think you see there's, it's not an industry that's just unregulated. It's a deregulated, pricing deregulated, but there are mechanisms to it. So if you say that it's deregulated, then when we have a law that has allowed us to regulate the margin for the bottling plant. Yeah. And so that is taken away. We have been able to, like I said, we've been able to bring the cost down. Now, Gabi made a point earlier that adding the $80 adds to the price of LPG. That yeah. is true. And I think through a lot of our engagements last year, we mentioned that just adding $80 to the price as, as it is makes the price expensive. So what MP was going to be very innovative in ways to make sure that this does not happen. So what did we do? In, Ju in January this year, we introduced the LPG tender policy. Previously, you have different companies importing LPG on their own in smaller quantities. And because they do this, they didn't have the economies of scale, advantage of economies of scale. So you could have most of them importing between $70, I mean paying premiums of between $70 and $100 to the suppliers in addition to the world market price to land the product here in Ghana. We thought that if we should consolidate the cost of LPG, I mean the quantities of LPG we need in the country. And buy in bulk. And buy in bulk, it reduces the price and we also put it to competitive tender. We did this in January and it dropped the price from around $100 to $30 per metric ton. That's about $70 per metric ton savings. So this allows the introduction of the bottling plant margin because like we said, there has to be a bottling plant margin because the value chain has introduced a, a player. And just like any other value chain in the industry, any player in the value chain, they have margins that covers their cost. Yeah. So this, what we did, so it's not as if we didn't do anything to ensure that this introduction of the bottling plant margin does not help to alleviate the pressure on the consumer. Mm. But, but, the, data, to, but the data shows that consumption is dropping. Yeah, and it's very good to work with data. Yeah. So we have the data from, I have data here from the past 10 years of consumption of LPG. Okay, what does it so say? So like Gabby said, in 2022, we saw a drop in the uh, yeah. consumption of LPG. And this was because of what we remember in 2022 when the exchange rates increased significantly. We had world prices for petroleum products mm. increasing significantly, not only petro, uh, LPG. Remember these are the rules, uh, petrol rules about 20 uh, yeah. cities per liter. So we had a significant increase in the price of LPG in 2022. And because of this, the price of LPG, sorry, the consumption dropped. Now in 2020, the consumption has gone back rising. And we have had years before CRM. We have had years like in 2017 when the price consumption of LPG dropped compared to the previous year. So apart from 2017 when there was a drop, there was 2014 also when there was a drop. This was not because of CRM. So consumption trends have a certain trend. It is not because of CRM, but we are very, very conscious uh, uh, of Abbas, abidab so affordability of the product. Yes. And that's why I mentioned that MPA did innovative things to ensure that this introduction but, of the but, uh, plant Yes, margin. we show that yeah, in 2023 it's beginning to climb up. Yes. But the point is that do you expect that trend to continue? So the whole, you see, the, the whole, policy, the whole policy of the CRM is to ensure that consumption rises. Yeah. How are we doing this? Now let's look at the advantages the CRM brings. Now, Gabby will confirm to you that if you are constructing a retail outlet just like they have today, it's very expensive. Now, most of them have already applied to construct the exchange points. The exchange points, all you need is the cage, a land that you have maybe concreted, and then you run 
the exchange exchange. You don't spend as much as you, you would spend to build an exchange point. Today, almost all the LPG retail outlets are concentrated in the urban areas. If you look at our consumption of LPG in Ghana, most of the rural areas don't have LPG. My village, for example, in Kasa, before you get LPG, you have to drive all the way to Kwanta before you can get LPG. Nobody wants to construct an LPG bottling, uh, cylinder uh, station there. Mm. But with the introduction of cylinder exchange, now Gabi can construct an exchange point in Kasa, which is way cheaper. And now those there, first of all, you don't even have to buy the cylinder. So now access of LPG has become close to, become very easy. So that's the whole objective, to ensure that we have access availability. And then the price, like I said, of, of course, if you can, you make product available, you make the product accessible, and the price is not affordable, nobody will buy. Yeah. And that's how come we, are, we did the tender to bring down the cost. That has, has absorbed it. But, yeah, we are not but, living but in spite there. of that tender, we've seen prices climb up. But that's because whether you do the tender or not, or whether you introduce bottling plant margin or not, if your exchange rate is going up, if your world market price is going up, price will go up. But, you've yeah. added, but so, that's why when you added the $80, then that already factors and favorable. And then you remember, put this on top. Remember, I, then I, I, I mentioned high. that we've done the LPG tender program. The first lot was delivered mm. in March. So it has coincided with this introduction of the... Uh, how do you call it, the bottling plant margin. So this is something that we've deliberately done to ensure that introduction of the bottling plant margin does not come at a time when we, we have prices as high as they were. We've been able to drop the price to close to $70 per meter. Yeah, but I haven't felt it in my pocket. But that, mean, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, the market but I haven't is felt that this 70 you're saying, no, it's, just, it's just a no, number. But to make it look, to <laughs> make it look the like, prices but, go up. But it's a fact that the price yeah, but you, the you, cost it's has a dropped. fact that you, it costs a draw, but I haven't seen it in my, in but my purchases. That, but the point I'm making is, even so, if, so why, if, even the, if you hadn't in, brought that, even if you hadn't brought that, if the world market price goes up, will price drop, go up or not, it will go up. But fundamentally, you say your mitigating intervention was mm -hmm. this, you know, yeah. uh, the competitive bidding and yeah. buying in bulk. Yeah. But that, as far as a consumer, I'm a consumer. I haven't seen that reflect in my. But purchases. that is not because of the eighty dollars. Yeah, so but, like but, a, not, but not, but not, but eighty dollars is going to add to the cost. So are you ignoring definitely. the fact that the cost dropped by seventy dollars through the tender? No, but that's the tender. I'm talking about by pump. No, but the tender, no, the tender has dropped the price. So the cost from the BDC level has dropped by seventy dollars. Okay, but Gabriel, so you can't ignore is it, is that it, fact. It, uh, uh, if you ignore that fact, then you are not being. Uh,